Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All-Merciful, the Ever-Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, peace and blessings be upon you, and welcome to Who is Imam Hussein. In today's episode, we will talk about Imam Hussein's dream while he was moving towards Kufa. Our respected viewers, Aqaba bin Siman has reported that as the Imam Ali salam, and his companions set out from Qasr bin Muqatil, Al Hussein alayhi salam, began to doze off upon his horse. Two or three times he would nod off only to awaken saying, we belong to Allah and to him is the return. All praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. His son, Al-Imam al-Sajjad, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, thought this was strange and had began to grow concerned. Hussein's actions, alayhi salam, seemed to him both unusual and ominous. Finally, he approached and asked his blessed father, why do you keep reciting the praise of Allah and the verse of the returning? Respect the viewers, here Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam turned lovingly towards his son Ali and informed him of the dream he just had. My son, he said, when I dozed off, a man appeared before me riding a horse. He announced to me, men are traveling while fate travels towards them. When he spoke, I realized that he was the embodiment of our souls announcing to us our own deaths. When he heard this, Al Imam al Sajjad, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, grew even more concerned and confused. He asked his father, May Allah protect you from all evil. Are we not in the right? Al Hussein alayhi salam answered his son without any piece of hesitation in words of comfort and reassurance by him to whom all servants return. It is we who are in the right. Al Imam al Sajjad alayhi salam had demonstrated a keen wisdom since his earliest days, and in this dire situation, it remained apparent. Thus, our respected viewers, he replied to his father, If we are to die righteously, then we have no need for concern. Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam was deeply touched by his son's reply and told him, May Allah give you the best reward a son may receive. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born, and when you were murdered, and when you will be resurrected. Respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Until we meet again, let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time to interpret the message of his grandfather, who says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Thank you very much indeed. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.